stage of uh, any research project is quite arduous. There's sometimes hundreds of different um, references, books, articles, etc. that need to be weighted through and distilled. And uh, there's no better way than trying to clarify that than through the use of a literature map. And so this video is really about explaining the different types of literature map and how they act as an infographic in helping you with your analysis. But, but not only that can be used as part of your doctorate, as um, images in your doctorate to help explain to the reader and to your supervisor. The cards on desktop method is something that I developed really just from understanding how desktop works on the computer with the different icons that you can move around on the desktop, but you know, with a literature map of the same type, you can actually create cards that sit on the desktop, and whether it's on your computer or even on a table, um, and you can move them around based on theme and importance. So that's the idea of uh, basically the most basic manual method of literature mapping, which allows you to start sorting the different ideas on a desktop. <laughs> different ways of uh, doing a literature map based on the different requirements you have so um, I'm going to discuss a number of those in our video today and the first one is the, what I would call the grid view or the simple quadrant ax axial view where you divide your desktop into four segments and you start moving your um, uh, subject cards for each of your sources around that and move them into quadrants that have a, a separate sort of theme or a, a, um, a relevance to the research. The next view is uh, called hierarchical view, which is based on the understanding that many of your different sources that you read have got authors that were formed a part of that in a historical sense or chronological order. And so those are the foundation sources that sit basically in a hierarchy below the actual source you're reading or your work. And you're at that point at the top of the apex of that hierarchy. Of course, uh, you can always uh, do literature mapping um, manually and uh, in your own way, in your own searching. Uh, but there's also technologies that have come out in the past few years since I did my doctorate and uh, where they've actually got a search interface um, connected with a literature mapping graphical interface and there's a few providers in that area. So keep your eyes out uh, on that on, on the web and, uh, and they're pretty easy to find as well. But they're very helpful. I've explained uh, literature mapping from the most basic cards on desktop manual approach through to uh, the sophisticated search engines with graphical literature mapping interfaces that have been developed uh, along the way. And so if you want to learn more about uh, how to do literature mapping or if you even want to do sort of a workshop uh, uh, along with other students, uh, please uh, uh, be aware we've got a research skills webinar series coming up and we hope you'll uh, sign up for that. Just follow the links uh, at the end of our video and we look forward to seeing you there. <music>